Yo, Microsoft recently announced the new titles that will be coming to Game Pass in the early part of October, so make sure you keep it locked for the information. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to Urban Gameplay Weekly Gaming News Updates. <laughs> First up and available from today is Chivalry 2, which will be coming to Cloud Console and PC. Now, for those who are not too familiar with this game, Chivalry 2 is basically a multiplayer first-person slasher inspired by epic medieval movie battles. You'll be thrust into the action of every iconic moment of the era, from clashing swords to storms of flaming arrows to sprawling castle siege and much, much more. Definitely a game that I've come across before. I haven't actually played it before, but I have seen them promote this uh, quite a lot on the Xbox game store so it's a game that i personally would like to experience at some point because i have seen this game get a lot of promotion on the store whether it is just them promoting it through a banner or so so i definitely will be intrigued to see what this game actually plays like <laughs> I still remember the first time my father handed me a bow. Available from the 6th of October is Medieval Dynasty, which will be coming to Xbox Series X and S. I do believe those who do have PC Game Pass, you will be able to access this from now, but this will definitely be coming in a couple of days to those with the all-important Xbox Series X or S. Now, in this game, you basically take on the role of a young man who has fled from war and wants to take his fate into his own hands. From beginning alone, inexperienced and poor, you will will develop into a master of many skills, a leader of your community and the founder of a prosperous dynasty which is meant to last and prosper for generations to come. Now I'm not gonna lie, I haven't even heard of this game before, not too familiar with it but from the look of the trailer it definitely does look like somewhat of a decent game. I'll be lying to say if I am gonna play this on day one but definitely one that I will be casting my eyes over in the coming weeks or so. Now I am ready to build and grow a village to raise my children as they are the future, like I once was. The Walking Dead, the complete first season, will be coming to PC also on the 6th of October. Now, this is basically a five-part game series set in the same universe as the award-winning comic book series. In this game, you get the opportunity to play as Lee Everett, a convicted criminal who has been given a second chance at life in a world devastated by the undead. Now, I will say that for those who haven't had the opportunity to play this game before, it's definitely well worth playing because the story and just the overall experience in this game is super engaging and definitely one of the top games that you have to experience in your lifetime. Certainly a real great game to download, especially for those who haven't had the opportunity to play this game in the who past. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. You've been all by yourself through this? Also, on the 6th of October, you will be able to download The Walking Dead Season 2 on PC as well. Not really much to add to this than what I've mentioned on the previous entry. Definitely two phenomenal games and well worth playing. Hope it's soon. Crawling with monsters. Added to Game Pass come the 11th of October is Costume Quest, which will be coming to cloud and console. In this game, you get a chance to collect magical costumes with superpowers, unique weapons, and special items as you hunt down quests. You get a chance to level up your heroic warrior and battle the evil overlords in this epic adventure to save Halloween. Not gonna lie, not too super familiar with this particular title, but definitely does seem like another interesting game that will certainly burn a couple of hours here or there. And for those who do like these type of games, definitely something well worth keeping your eye on. Costume Quest, available on Quiet, Xbox Live. peaceful place. Also available from the 11th of October, I believe it's pronounced as Evil, which will be coming to console and PC, and this will be available on day one with Game Pass. In this game, it is basically where you betray your friends and lie your way to victory. In the multiplayer social deduction game, Evil, you find yourself in a village riddled by a series of murders, and some say it might have been you, or was it? Basically, this definitely sounds like a great premise, a great style for a game that is intriguing, not one yet again that I'm too super familiar with with but i do like the premise behind this one and certainly one that i will certainly be keeping close tabs on for some of you why be so lucky you must work together and find the conspirators hiding in the inside. 
October 13th, we see Dyson Sphere program come to PC, and this will be available on day one with PC Game Pass. This game gives you the opportunity to build the most efficient intergalactic factory in space simulation strategy game, Dyson Fear program. Harness the power of stars, collect resources, plan and design production lines, and develop your terrestrial factory from a small space workshop to galaxy-wide industrial empire. Now, that definitely was a tongue twister and a game that I'm still not familiar with, but definitely seems very interesting, especially for those who do love a simulated strategy type of game. Definitely one worth keeping your eye on. Greetings. I'm your host, Doug Bradley. Come the 14th of October 2022, Scorn will be coming to Cloud PC and Xbox Series X and S, and this will be available on day one with Game Pass. Now, for those who are not too familiar with this game, Scorn is a atmospheric first-person horror adventure game, which is set in a nightmarish universe of an odd forms and sober tapestry. It is designed around the idea of being thrown into the world, isolated and lost inside this dreamlike world where you can explore different interconnected regions in a non-linear fashion. Definitely sounds very interesting as someone who's not be really super into horror games. Don't know if it appeals to me personally, but definitely seems very, very interesting. And it is like some of these games that are on this list, a good look that it will be a day one game. With great attention to detail. Everything is focused on building a specific atmosphere. From a unique organic ecosystem to an unsettling sound. A Plague Tale Requiem will be coming on the 18th of October to Cloud PC and Xbox Series X and S, and this will be available on day one with Game Pass. Now, in this direct sequel to A Plague Tale Innocence, embark on a heart-trending journey into a brutal, breathtaking world and discover the cost of saving those you love in a desperate struggle for survival. I always really wanted to play the first entry in this game series, but I never got the opportunity or got around to playing it, but this definitely does look like a really, really great series and one that is well worth experiencing from the outside looking in. Definitely one that I will try and maybe revisit at some point, especially the first entry in it, in the innocent version of the series, but definitely will want to maybe get to this game at some point. Anyway, peeps, that was a super quick run through of some of the games that will be coming to Game Pass at some point in October from now until the middle of the month. Definitely do let me know your thoughts in the comments below as to what games are you looking forward to downloading when they are available to download through Game Pass, and would you still still make of Game Pass? Do you still see the value in it? They're always adding some great games and definitely such a great lineup. And as I said, it's always getting better and better each and every month. And do remember that my beloved Persona 5 Royale will be coming to Game Pass at some point this month. Definitely loads to look forward to. Anyway, peeps, as always, do let me know your thoughts in the comments below and we can definitely wrap it up. And if you did enjoy this very quick urban gameplay video, be sure to hit the like button. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so before. And until next video, we definitely say peace out, peeps. One day, the macula illness that's been dormant inside Hugo awakens, and the dreaded living nightmare begins again. In a way, Amicia finds herself with no other choice but to trust her brother's dreams.